Amazon influencers. Welcome to our Get Ready for Prime Day virtual event. I'm Courtney Tezano, and I'm here with some incredible Amazon influencers, Allie P. Hunter and Lacey Ross from the Amazon influencer team. So you guys, we are pumped. We're ready to share all of the tips and give you everything that you need to know to prepare for this year's Amazon Prime Day on July 11th and July 12th. You guys, we have dates, finally. So exciting, it's almost here. I know. Can't wait. Super <laughs> pumped about it. But let's go ahead and get started. We're going to kick things off with Allie, who's going to give us a rundown of what we're chatting about today. Yes, we have a great agenda for you today. We're going to start with the timeline and key dates for Prime Day that you need to know. We are going to do a Prime Day 101 with Lacey. She's going to go over resources, tools, and more ways for you to earn. I will then be sharing my own tips and tricks from previous Prime Days, how to prep and making the most of your resources. And then we have Jordana Shao, which is the Amazon Influencer Social Media Manager. And she's gonna go over some best practice and exciting updates for content around Prime Day. We're gonna go over some exclusive yes. Prime Day deals, show you a sneak peek of that, and then we're going to wrap it up with some Q&A. Yes, yeah, so we've got a very exciting show ahead. I wanna talk through some of the key dates and timeline that we have, you guys. So here is what we have coming up. I'm sure you all have heard, but Prime Day is again July 11th and 12th. So excited about that, you guys. Um, but here's some important reminders as we look ahead in our seminar. Uh, so by now, you have probably received the deals list in your email on Monday, which was June 26th. And if not, it's also linked in the carousel below. Uh, you cannot share Prime Day deals until the event is live on July 11th and 12th. But of course, we want you to get ahead of the game. So we encourage you to prepare content with the deals ahead of time to be sure that you are all set for Prime Day. All right, let's talk about lead up deals, which are shareable before Prime Day. Uh, now that is from today through July 10th that you can share those lead up deals. For lead out deals, those are shareable after Prime Day. So that's from July 13th through the 20th. And again, for both those lead up and lead out dates, they can be find on, found on the Today's Deal and Prime Day pages, which I can, will continue to say through throughout this entire seminar, bookmark, 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 mm -hmm. all of those things. Um, and they are linked down in the carousel below. So be sure to stay on top of that and check those pages daily for the most up-to-date deals information. Now, as a part from a separate from the Prime Day deals, we also have, uh, we want to share a special for our 4th of July deals, which are also linked below as well, very much reiterating that's separate from Prime Day deals, mm -hmm. which we're talking about today. Those will be active from today through July 4th. All, all the right. deals. All the deals Can't to share. So many <laughs> things to share. All right, Lacey, I actually want to kick things over to you as we start discussing our lead ups. All right, so here you'll see this is the Prime Day timeline with the dates that Courtney just discussed. Definitely make sure to keep note of all of these dates. We'll start with the lead up period. This is an amazing time to start prepping your content. Prep, prep, prep. Um, but then you can also share any lead up deals with your, your audience now through 710. Then we'll have Prime Day. This is the two big days of the year where you can share all of your favorite deals. And then we'll go into our lead out period, which is a, continue, a great place to sort of continue the momentum, 713 through 720. Yeah, so we want you to stay on top of things. And if you're anything like me, you probably need a nice list. So we have created a Prime Day checklist for all the things that you can do during lead up, Prime Day, and lead out. So let's see that checklist. Amazing, so let's start with lead up. During lead up, let's make sure to use the preview deals list that's linked below in the carousel. And this is really gonna help you prep all of your content. You can explore the deals maybe in categories that you normally wouldn't share. We have a ton of fashion influencers who sell so much in sort of home focused categories during this time because they're on such great deals. So don't be afraid to try something new, um, but then you can also use these lists to find some of your best sellers and sort of create sort of your tried and true content um, that you know your audience will love. We also recommend always using keyword searches to kind of understand what customers are looking for during this time of the year. We also highly recommend that you begin to create buzz with your audience and get them really excited for Prime Day. One of my favorite things that influencers do is they'll have sort of the um, polls in their story where they can ask their followers some of their favorite deals that they're looking for this Prime Day. And that's a great way to help you create content that you know your audience will want. You can also share any lead up deals by using the Today's Deal page that's also linked in the carousel. Any deals that are on this page are allowed to be shared with your audience, 
But as Courtney said, don't share anything that's in the deals preview link. Yes. <laughs> and then lastly, also make sure that your audience is signed up for Prime memberships. Um, as a reminder, you can only shop these Prime deals if you're a Prime member. So definitely make sure that your audience is aware of that and they're signing up for Prime. And in tandem with that, you can also earn a bounty as you um, create the bounty affiliate links to have your audience sign up for Prime memberships. Mm -hmm. There also, as Ali loves to mention, there are so many great perks of being a Prime member. Yes. Um, make sure to share those with your audience and get them excited. Yeah, we all love a good deal. We yeah. all love good perks. Yeah, we also Lots love Grubhub Plus. You know? Exactly. Yes, we do. For a whole year, which is just crazy. And then seeing those bounties on your reporting is such a nice surprise. You're like, oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, a little well, extra something. It. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so I have a, a few tips on what to do during Prime Day. So first of all, block your calendar. We've gone over the dates. It's July 11th and 12th, and start early on those mornings. Make sure you're starting to share. Your audience is ready to shop, and it's up to you to be their resource. So direct your audience to your storefront or your links, wherever you're putting them, to make sure that they can easily find your recommended deals. And then focus on those items that are on deal. Lacey mentioned asking your audience what they're shopping for that's a great place to start when you're looking for deals and looking for what to share and then take a look at your own top sellers you can always look your top sellers overall right now and then you can even narrow down to the day of or the days of Prime Day looking at those top sellers sharing them with your audience and resharing those deals with your audience as well and then make it easy. You always want your audience to know exactly where to go to shop. There's a few features that you can use on Instagram, TikTok, Amazon. The pinning feature is one of my favorites. Yes. <laughs> Pull those deals up to the top of your social media pages, your best deals to the top of your Amazon storefront. That's gonna get the most exposure for your audience to shop. And then making a Prime Day highlight on Instagram. You can also categorize this on your uh, storefront, on your TikTok. Just make it easy for them to shop. So simple, keep it easy, make it easy. It's gonna drive more sales. Okay, Lacey, let's talk about that lead out period for Prime Day. Yes, so even after the 12th, Prime Day's not fully over. We have the lead out period, which is an amazing time where you can keep some of the momentum up with your followers. We will have a lot of deals that are still available through July 20th. Um, so make sure to be checking the today's um, today's deals page to check what's on deal and see if there's anything that either maybe you've previously shared during Prime Day that you kind of want to repost and double down on since it's still on deal or if there are any new deals that are launched and you're pretty excited about. You might have learned some things from your customers during Prime Day, so it's a great time to read your business and continue to maximize your earnings. Yeah, definitely want to bookmark all of those deals, monitor them daily. Um, but before we get into the rest of our things, I want to thank you, Allie, for joining yes. us. We're going to see you in a few minutes. Yes, I'll be back. Yes. <laughs> but look, Lacey, we are just so excited that you're joining us. So let's jump right into our Prime Day 101. All right. Um, I know that you guys have probably seen all of the links that we have down in the carousel, and we just want to kind of get you on track with that. So, Lacey, can you walk us through some of the pages we should be bookmarking for Prime Day? Yeah, absolutely. So we have a lot of amazing resources for both Prime Day and even just your general content that are linked here. So definitely keep note. As Cordy mentioned, bookmark. These are all yeah. great pages to bookmark, um, both for Prime Day and then just throughout the year. So the first page is our Prime Day specific page. This is the Prime Day page that will be sort of the main hub for all Prime Day deals. Definitely make sure to, to keep the tabs on this page to see the most up-to-date Prime Day deal information. We also have the deals preview list. So this has been shared with you both in the email that you received on Monday, but you can also see it in our carousel. And remember that all of these deals are confidential and cannot be shared until Prime Day, but you can absolutely use this list to help prep some of your content beforehand. We also have our today's deal page. So this is actually a sort of go-to year-round page, um, but it definitely gets a lot of traction during Temple or these big events like Prime Day. Um, so this is a place where you can continue to find tons of deals information. I think this is particularly helpful for lead up and then also finding those lead out deals until the 20th. I also want to talk about two of my favorite reports that are also year-round reports. Um, you, we know you know your audience so well, but this gives you sort of insights to the total Amazon business. So here we have our movers and shakers. These are basically the products that have had the biggest spike in sales over the past 24 hours. And then we also have our total Amazon bestsellers page, which are really 
good insights for products that customers are looking to shop for. Oh, for sure. So many tips and tricks to, you know, bookmark, stay on top of those things. But we have some more resources that we want to share with our audience. So here are some of the creator resources. Yeah, so we have two educational pages that are great resources to check out for tips, trip, tricks, best practices, and so forth. Um, so again, linked in the carousel below, <laughs> but make sure to bookmark them. The first is our Prime Day education page. This is creator specific and it will give you tips on sort of deal creations and things that you should be doing to help be successful during this Prime Day. Since it's a confidential page, do note that you have to be logged into Associate Central to access this. Um, and then we also have Creator University. This is a year round page, but it's a kind of general resource for Amazon creators. It's amazing if you want to, you know, maybe try out posting shoppable videos for the first time this Prime Day. This will have all of the instructions and how to's um, to help you do that. Absolutely. Now, Lacey, are there any tips or tools that you want to highlight for Prime Day that we haven't already highlighted? Yeah, so there's so many, but three of my favorite ones are linked here. Uh, the first is promoting the invite-only deals. So invite-only deals will enable Prime members to request an invitation to purchase select deals during lead-up. There are going to be a limited number of Prime members who will receive the invites to sort of complete their purchase on Prime Day, but you can absolutely promote these select products as soon as they're announced um, within the page. You can find the invite-only deals on the Prime Day page that I previously spoke to, and I'm sure you'll have bookmarked by now, mm -hmm. um, but it is linked in the carousel below. And definitely just do note that you will not get commissions on any of the sales unless the customer is selected and receives the deal. So a little nuance there. Uh, one of my favorite things that was just added to the storefront is you can actually make a draft of your ideal list. So good. So yeah, ideal list, as you know, Cardi, take a long time to set up. So this is an amazing way for you to prep all of your favorite deals in advance. And then once the deals go live on Prime Day, you can publish your ideal list. And then the last thing, which is also a really new, exciting tool that launched, mm -hmm. is our influencer hub that's in the mobile app. If you haven't seen this, definitely make sure that you check it out. We all know we live on our phones, so this is yeah. a great way to sort of check your performance, both by category, product, price, et cetera, um, as you're sort of on the go and living your, your busy life. Exactly. You know what to promote next time, what's working, all of the things. We love those analytics. Yeah, now, exactly. can we talk about back to school? A lot of parents are looking forward to Prime Day being when they shop for that. Yeah. So back to school is coming up, and actually it officially launched on Amazon last week. Um, so we're, we're in the peak of back to school. Many shoppers have already started shopping for back to school and it's definitely top of mind, particularly during this time frame period, or prime day time frame. Um, some things to feature, if you have a strong parenting audience, this is an awesome time to remind them to stock up on back to school supplies for their kids. Um, if you're maybe more Gen Z and have a good college audience, this is a great time to remind your followers about things like dorm essentials or study gear during Prime Day. And a lot of these products will be on deal, which is awesome. Um, you may find them on some of our Prime Day sort of deal pages, but we also do have a dedicated back to school and off to college pages that are linked in the carousel below um, that will help you find all of these deals that have even started now and they'll be on the site until September 24th. Yeah, so now is the time to just get started yeah. on, you know, taking advantage of those deals. But Lacey, thank you so much. I feel like all of this was so helpful. Now, let's go back to those creators. Now, how can creators go bigger and find new ways to earn during Prime Day? Yeah, absolutely. So one exciting thing that's kind of somewhat new to Amazon is Inspire. Yes. It's a relatively new vertical video shopping experience, and it's a great way to increase your content's reach throughout Amazon. You're already prepping the content, so why not get more eyeballs on it throughout right. the Amazon site? Um, you can access Inspire if you can see it on your mobile app. If you open the mobile app and the little like bar underneath, there's going to be that little light bulb icon. That's the Inspire feed. It's super easy to find. Inspire will pull videos from an algorithm basically from your storefront. So the more vertical videos that you're posting to the storefront, the higher the chance of being picked up on the Inspire page. Yeah. This is so exciting, by the way. I know, it's really great. We also have some best practices here that I think are really important to note. The first is when you're uploading these vertical videos, we try to favor sort of short form videos, so keep it to less than 30 seconds. Videos that have Prime Day products um, that will be on deal also will definitely be a focus during the Inspire sort of feed during Prime Day. So keep that in mind as you're prepping your video content. 
And then also just make sure you don't have any video, um, social media watermarks yeah. on your videos because that will, that will hurt your chances of being featured on the feed. Yeah, a lot of us are cross-promoting, so it's easy yeah. to forget that. So really great reminder. All right, let's talk about something I'm super excited about that we have. It is Creator Connections. Yeah. Oh my goodness, so many ways to earn. I know, Creator Connections is another amazing opportunity to increase your earnings during Prime Day by partnering you directly with the brands, which is so cool. Creator Connections allows creators to collaborate with brands and unlock bonus commissions on top of the standard rate that they receive for qualifying purchases. Creator Connections also recently launched a new feature called Affiliate Plus, which is a pay for performance model that pays a bonus commission for every qualified sale during a campaign window. So amazing opportunity to increase your earnings, connect with your favorite brands, and then also just you know, promote branded content that's authentic to you. So, exactly. You get to choose. It makes it so simple, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so I'm sure you are like, how do I get started? Here are your steps. It's super easy. What you'll do is you'll click the link in the carousel below, complete your profile. Then you can search for brands and available campaigns that are of interest to you. And once you accept, it's that easy and you start posting. Super easy to do creator connections. Now, are these some of the things that they can look forward to? Yeah, absolutely. So here are some of the key products that we're really excited about for Prime Day that will have those extra bonus commissions that you'll see here. So the earnings potential here is absolutely insane, and it's kind of a no-brainer if you already love a lot of these products. Yeah, and I know a lot of the creators are going to love this, being able to see their earnings reports. Yeah, so this is the new feature where you can see your earnings through the earnings report that's directly in the Creator Connections dashboard. So here you'll see your total earnings up top, and then if you want to drill down a little deeper, we know you all love some numbers, and you can, you can drill down to the campaign level to see how different campaigns are performing. Um, which can maybe help inform future ones that you might want to enroll in. I mean, honestly, after all of this, why wouldn't someone want to sign up? I need to go sign up right <laughs> after we finish chatting about this because there's so many amazing opportunities and I feel like they lay it all out there. All right, now, I don't know if you know Lacey, but I'm like a subscription girly. And so can you tell me a little bit about the Amazon subscriptions and services opportunities too? Yeah, so Amazon offers creators earning opportunities on over 20 subscriptions and services, which include Prime, Prime Video, Audible, all the registries, so much more. Um, so as an Amazon creator, you can earn a fixed, fixed flat fee for driving qualifying customer signups to these programs. Prime Day is a really big moment for this since many of our programs have pretty steep discounts on deals, and these are often some of the biggest deals that they offer throughout the entire year. We have three programs here that I definitely want to highlight. It's so hard to pick from the 20, <laughs> um, but these are three of our biggest ones. We have our Amazon Prime free trial. This enables customers to benefit from all of the deals and discounts that we mentioned during Prime Day. As we already spoke to earlier, you can't shop the Prime Day deals unless you're a Prime, Prime Day member, member yeah. or Prime member. Um, so this is a great thing, protect, particularly in lead up to start promoting for your audience. Um, and then you can earn a bounty as any of your, your audience or customers sort of shop and um, subscribe to Amazon Prime. The next one is Audible. This is one of their biggest promotions of the year. Prime members can get three full months of free Audible Premium Plus membership. So if you have some, some audience members who like to read, this is absolutely incredible for oh, them. Oh, yeah. And then finally, we have Prime Video Channels. So in case you don't know, we have some within Prime Video, we also have Prime Video Channels. Um, this is essentially sort of channels like HBO Max, Paramount Plus, et cetera, where people can subscribe to these channels in addition to their Prime Video membership. So everything's kind of in one place. For Prime Day, we have 18 channels that are going to be on promotion with deals ranging from 99 cents for two months to up to 50% off the regular price. See, sign me up now. <laughs> yeah. So if you, if you don't like to read, if you like to watch TV, this is amazing for you. Um, so to promote any of these programs to your followers, it's super easy. All you have to do is on your desktop, go to the landing page for the subscription that you want to share. Then you can use site stripe on desktop to generate your link. And then once the link's ready, it's now you all know what you're doing. Just go out and share it. <laughs> um, and anyone who signs up for one of these subscriptions afterwards, you'll get your eligible bounty. 
See, making it easy for all of us, I definitely am going to be signing up for, you know, Amazon Prime video channels. Yes. Okay, Lacey, you've shared so many resources and tips for us. I'm going to bring my girl Allie back in um, so we can talk a little bit more of those Prime Day tips. Yeah, all right. Thanks, guys. All right, so I'm so excited to share some of my Prime Day tricks that I have learned over the years. I, I started with the Amazon Influencer Program in 2019, so I've had a few wow, Prime Days. Oh, yeah. And I know we've talked so much about lead up, right? Mm -hmm. But leading up to Prime Day, it is just so important to make sure that your audience knows Prime Day is coming. So if you have not shared the dates yet, make sure that you do. And Lacey talked about it earlier, but really asking your audience what they're shopping for is such a great way for you to plan your content. So you wanna hype them up, right? You wanna make sure your audience is ready to shop on Prime Day and let them know that you are there to help them find the best deals. And it's really all about focusing on the customer and yeah. being their resource. Another thing I like to say is kind of training your audience to know what they're going to see from you on Prime Day. How yeah. are you going to share those deals? Where do they find your storefront? Are you going to go live? Are you going to share it on your Instagram stories? Are you going to make some TikToks? How are they going to see these deals and how are they going to shop them? Make sure that they know. And this is also a great opportunity to try different things to see what your audience best responds to. So whether that's doing a try on, whether that's answering those question boxes or, you know, going live, yeah. you've got all of these great options to share this content. And then sharing the excitement again, yes. let's hype them up, share the deals that you're personally excited to shop for yourself, and then make sure that you are communicating with your audience consistently before Prime Day, letting them know that you are going to be finding the best sale items for you, for them, and you guys all get great sneak peeks at the deals. So it's great to let them know you've seen some deals. They're amazing. Courtney and I are going to preview them shortly. <laughs> yes. And let them know that they're coming and that you yourself are excited for them and excited to share them. Yeah. I mean, if you like it, then they're going to love it, right? Exactly. When you're excited, everyone else is excited. Mm -hmm. They can see the passion. <laughs> uh, and then organize your content. Work smarter, not harder, right? Always. Always. <laughs> and organize your content in advance. That way you can focus on finding new deals and catering to your audience the day of Prime Day. So something that I have been sharing with all of my creator friends, if you don't use that caption feature on it, on your phone, on an iPhone, it is amazing. We all have previous content that we filmed, graphics that we've created. If you click that little I button there, you can, or information, you can put a caption on there and then search your content. I have, I have content from 2019 mm -hmm. that I post to this day that I can easily find. You can also duplicate content on your phone and that makes it super easy for you to pull up previous content for you to share the day of and then move on. That way you can share as many deals yeah. as you can, right? Yeah, it makes it so easy. I love that feature. Mm -hmm. Now let's go ahead and talk some more resources, Allie. Absolutely. Okay, I don't know if we can say this anymore, but <laughs> use the deals list. It is the easiest way for you to prep your content and to know what's coming. I mean, how perfect is that? You've got these resources at your fingertips to make sure that you have your content ready. Just make sure when you're sharing them on your storefront or wherever it is that you are not labeling anything a Prime Day deal until they are live. Make a plan, know how you're going to share this content and film it early and really look at those top anticipated items. Amazon's got them for you and I also love to use my own data. I am obsessed with the reporting features I on know you Amazon. Are. <laughs> they give you so much information about what your audience wants to see from you, what they're shopping and what they love. So you can do this from previous years, look at you know what were your top selling items last year, top categories, or even from this current year. What kind of content does your audience love? and you can share those best-selling items. Yeah, if it works, then stick to it. Exactly, and then this is also a great way for you to engage your current audience, newcomers that might have not have followed you last year, and something that I mentioned earlier is I repeat buy on Prime Day. Oh yeah, and most of us do. Exactly. We love I, something, we go back to it. Exactly, so you can share those new items, but don't be scared to reshare those top-selling items. All right. Let's shift over to some of the best practices now. Yes, okay, we're gonna talk about your storefront for a little bit here. So make sure your storefront is organized. Make sure it's easy for your audience to shop and use those different features. You've got shoppable photos, you've got lists, you've got lives. 
do it all. Do the videos. Vertical videos is a huge thing. Jordana's going to talk about that here shortly. And just making it easy. That's the best tip that I have. Make it easy. Make it easy to shop. And you can make these idea lists in advance. Lacey touched on this earlier, yeah. but you can save these lists as a draft. Easy. And then I also know, I think we had a comment from Haley Carter in the comments. Hi, Haley. And you asked about the pinning feature. Use that. So what you can do is bring content to the top of your storefront. That way it's the first thing that your customer sees when they see your storefront. Yeah, and they're more likely to click or be interested in it. Exactly. You just click those three little dots on the right-hand side of your content, and then it, said, it says pin to top, and it's that easy. It's a great way for you to, again, show your best selling items. And you can even do that the day up. You realize, wow, everybody is buying this They're one dress. They're loving this one, yeah. Pin that to the top and let them see it. So again, reporting features and making it easy are my two top tips for Prime Day. Such good tips, mm -hmm. such good tips. Now on the creator side on the back end, how do we keep track of everything? Yes. One of my, going along with reporting, I'm a big reporting gal, <laughs> is using tracking IDs. And with this, what you can do is you can create tracking IDs to see which of your social media platforms are performing well. So I have a tracking ID for Instagram, for TikTok, for Pinterest, and that way I can see, okay, wow, my TikTok is blowing up right now. And they're loving this they're item. They're loving this item, or I'm getting a lot of traffic over here. Let me continue to share on TikTok. And you can really lean into what is working best for you and what is selling well. That way you can capitalize on those opportunities. And yeah, and do more of the same thing. Exactly. If you know what's going on in your business with those reporting features, the earnings are endless. And then reposting. Do not be scared to repost something. Somebody might miss out on that deal. They, you know, Instagram could have swiped over it. Or yeah. The 15 seconds timed out, and you want to make sure that you are getting those top selling items back out to your audience so they do not miss a great deal from you. And just keep checking on that reporting, and have fun with Prime Day. Do not be stressed. This is an amazing opportunity to earn. This is what we do as creators. We create content, we share it, we love it. So don't be stressed and have fun and be you. Absolutely. All great, amazing tips, Allie. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. And I'm glad that you all were able to get that. Now, next up, we have the Amazon Influencer Social Media Manager, Jordana, coming in to talk about some best practices for Prime Day content on social. Hi. And she's looking lovely Hi. as she comes in. <laughs> Hello. Green. Thank, you. Thank you. Yes, <laughs> love it. Okay, so now that we have you here, I want to know all the things, but let's start with the basics. Okay, so the basics. This all might seem a little bit basic, <laughs> but these are things that I feel like we always need to remind ourselves when creating content. So first is presentation is key. When you are creating fashion content, I see a lot of try-on uh, videos. Make sure you're steaming your fashion items so it's wrinkle-free and it looks its best. If you're making home content, clean the surfaces, make sure everything's smudge-free, dust-free, just for the best possible presentation. Um, next is use a lens wipe. This is a hot tip. Um, yes. Definitely something mm -hmm. that I think gets overlooked. You want to make sure that your camera lens is clear, clean, so your content is crisp and everything looks amazing. Then make sure your framing is straight. I hate when I watch a video and I have to turn my neck to kind of see what the product looks like. Just make sure everything is lined up straight. There's a grid feature on your camera um, app on your phone that will help you do that. Next, simplicity can be your best friend. Really avoid things that are going to distract from the product. Let your product really be the star of the show. So try not to do face filters or crazy transitions or gifts. Just leave it really simple and just let the product speak for itself. Oh, yeah. I mean, it could be so jarring in the moment. So mm -hmm. really great tip there. Yeah. It's hard. Sometimes you'll be like, what am I watching? Like, <laughs> what are we talking about? Exactly. Um, so it's good to just keep the focus on the product. Mm -hmm. um, so the next tips I have are just how you can utilize your social media content uh, to drive to your storefront. So first, make sure your storefront is in your link in bio. This is something if you haven't done already, you got to do immediately after this. Um, Instagram allows you to have at least or up to five links in your bio. So definitely take advantage of that. Link your Amazon storefront in your bio. And on Prime Day, link your actual Prime Day idealists in your link in bio. It makes it super easy, like we keep saying. Make it easier for your uh, followers to shop. Mm -hmm. um, next is creating idealists for the products that you've specifically promoted on social media. So I've seen a lot of as seen on TikTok yes. or as seen on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Idealists, I think it's a really smart idea to make it easy for people to shop. Again, 
stressing that. Mm -hmm. um, next, always make your content work harder for you. You guys work so hard to create your video content. Always put it on your storefront. Just remove any watermarks or copyrighted music um, and let that content um, live just, on its own. Yeah, yeah repurpose yeah, it work in harder. spaces. Yeah. It's so nice to see when you're like, wow, okay, this video is doing good, this product is doing good. You can see that on your reporting and you know, you're not putting in any extra work. Which exactly. Is yep. It's something you've that. already created. Just throw it up there. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay, let's talk about our um, Instagram Prime Day content. So we've talked through a few of these, so I'll kind of glaze over it. Um, the main thing I want to stress for Instagram is when you're posting your product on Instagram stories during Prime Day, don't just post the product and that's it and a, a link to the product. Uh, include like an anecdote about why you like a product or why the customer needs it. It will just kind of help push the customer down that shopping funnel. Mm -hmm. The other thing I wanted to stress for Instagram too is to make sure you use a cover with a title text that explicitly says Prime Day. Then if someone's going into your account and they're looking through your feed, they can click specifically on anything that says Prime Day. Again, makes it easier. Um, the other thing that we've talked about is I love when people use the questions uh, option on Instagram stories. Yes. It just makes it easier for you to find your deals and, and helps easy, guide your shopping. Easy content. I mean, that's, easy that's a freebie for us Absolutely. as creators. Exactly. And kind of in that same vein with TikTok, I would recommend creating a video on TikTok where you ask your followers what they're shopping for on Prime Day. That video will live on your TikTok and with the comments that come in, you can actually reply to the comments with another video. So it just adds like sort of this um, flywheel of content that's easily coming from this one piece of video that you're posting onto TikTok. Yeah, and great, great engagement. Find it. Yeah, yeah. 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 For engagement. Engagement is everything. Mm -hmm. yes. And definitely TikTok makes it really easy to just keep commenting and creating videos on those comments. Um, along that same line, I would recommend making a playlist on TikTok as well for your Prime Day content. Once someone clicks into the playlist, they'll just see and be able to scroll through a ton of your Prime Day content on TikTok. Um, and like we've mentioned before, definitely pin your content to the tops of your social media um, platforms. Just makes it, again, easy to find so the number easy. one thing we keep talking about. Yeah, Absolutely. it's my favorite thing. When someone has outlined it for me, I'm going to stay on your page longer. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the last thing I wanted to touch on is that we are, this is exclusive, uh, we are launching Prime Day Instagram story filters and TikTok effects. They will be coming out on Prime Day, but here's a little sneak preview of a couple um, featuring some of our influencers. So make sure to use those uh, when you're creating your content on Prime Day. This is meant to make it easy for you guys to create content. Um, there's a couple ones featuring actual products. So again, easier for you guys to create content and put it out there. And they're really fun and cute. And, and they're so cute. fun. I'm, I'm so really excited, excited about them. them. That's awesome. Yes. Thank you for sharing all of yeah. that, Jordana. It was so helpful. I know a lot of people that are watching are going to enjoy that. We have a few more minutes for Q&A, and I know you have been asking a lot in the chat, and thankfully our Amazon team has been answering most of them for you. But these questions that we have coming up were submitted through our RSVP. All right, let's go with our first question. So will there be a list of products available to us in advance of Prime Day so we can plan content. Lacey, I'm going to have you kick that one off. Yeah, it's a great question. So as we mentioned here, you should have received the deals list in your email, but if not, make sure to grab it. It's linked in the carousel below. So this is going to be the best resource for you to be prepping all of your deals in advance of Prime Day. Absolutely. It's all linked down there below. Uh, our next question, when prepping for Prime Day, is there a way to create a list without having to share it until the day of? Yes. Allie, I know you know all about the list. Yes, I'm so excited about that new update where you can make a list, save it as a draft, and then it's so easy on Prime Day, you're just going to publish it and your deals are ready. Okay, another one I think that you can handle for us, how do you tag my social, my, excuse me, how do I tag my shoppable photos and videos with hashtags on Amazon? So I always love to use found it on Amazon. You want to come up in that inspire tab and you want to make sure you're tagging what is applicable. If you're, if it's mm -hmm. a kitchen gadget, hashtag kitchen gadget. You want to make sure if someone's shopping for it, like we said, they can easily they can find, find it. it. Absolutely. Make it simple for everyone with your hashtags. Now, will there be back to school deals for teachers? I think we know that one, but I'm going to let you kick things off, Lacey. Yeah, so we did talk a little bit about back to school and off to college. You just saw some great deals from Allie and Courtney. 
Um, we do also have the back to school and off to college events pages. So those are both linked again in the carousel, great to bookmark that any products that are featured on this will be on deal likely from now until September 24th. Yeah, so you so. have a ton of time to share all of these amazing deals with your followers. Oh yeah, so go ahead and get a head start, right? Yeah. All right, um, is it beneficial to post fluidly to your storefront or post everything prior to the sale? Allie, what do you think? I do a little bit of both. Obviously, we're talking about prep here. You've got your resources. Prep as much as you can, but there's going to be some hot items coming at you the day of Prime Day. So you want to be able to fluidly share those as they come, which is amazing. And then also, if you're realizing there's you know, this product that maybe you weren't planning to share is taking off in your reporting, you want to be able to share that the day of. So do a little bit of a mix. Prep what you can before, though. Absolutely. Be prepared. Make it easy for your audience. Bookmark things. So many things <laughs> that we have shared, and I hope that that has been so helpful for you as you prepare for Prime Day. But you guys, this brings us to the end of our Amazon Influencers. Get ready for Prime Day webinar. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, ladies, for being here and Thank sharing you. all of your tips. And I hope that all of your questions were answered. So we hope you feel prepared and have a wonderful and very successful Prime Day. Yes, happy happy Prime, Prime Day. Happy Prime Day. Happy Prime Day.